important and uh, her uh, her her project is the Arty Fox. Yeah, you may have seen it. It's uh, uh, Creativity Boxes for Children. We'll get to that in just a moment. And her name is uh, Fina McBride. And uh, Fina always wanted to be a school teacher and always the first to offer to babysit for children and has uh, since made a, a career out of it. Um, and not just to teaching children, but being a creator for children as well. And mind you, her life changed dramatically a number of years back on her little a boy, two-year-old Donna, passed away suddenly. Uh, but now she's uh, offering a helping hand to parents and children who might find themselves uh, in hospital or bored bored anywhere really with uh, creativity sets from the uh, arty box and uh, Fina now uh, joins me in the studio for a chat Fina thanks for coming in hello thanks for having me it's great to be here did I get uh, all or any of that right yes yes it's okay. all right yeah uh, yeah uh, okay well done um uh, let's let, let's talk about um well uh, let's go back I suppose and talk about uh, Donna first of all you know you, you never you never really get over something like that um and it was uh, it was sudden it was it was huge it was sad and and uh, to this day how are you how are you doing now oh doing doing good you know it's um it's always with you but um we feel very lucky that we had Donna for two years and he was a great wee boy you know he had two older sisters and uh, he was our baby. And he was always great. He was the best boy. Um, so really, like, he died suddenly. And it's funny because the overwhelming feeling was, well, great sadness. But also, we were grateful. We were grateful we had him mm. for so long, um, for two years. So he had his own wee personality and everything. And his sisters have memories of him. So there's lots of things to be grateful for, too. Okay. You know? And and now it's a family of three again because you got, you got pregnant after that and had to, had a wee girl. Yeah, um, I had a little girl a year later. Mm. So another thing to be grateful for too, you know, I was still able to have another child, and she just brought great happiness and joy to our family again. Mm. Um, you know, you kind of wonder, will you ever be happy again? But she did help a lot, you know, and now she's just turned three. And oh, sure, she's mad, you know, mm. and it's great. And she's starting to ask questions about him now. You know, she has, um, you know, there's pictures of him everywhere. Yeah. The girls talk about him all the time. So now we're, we're dealing with that now, asking the questions, you know, where is he? Uh, you know, what happened to him? You know, and when there's a sudden death like that, you know, he died of sudden infant death um, in his sleep. So really there is no... You know, so it's just answering questions like, well, he just died. You know, it's how tricky. Do you, how do you explain to a three-year-old? Yeah. Absolutely, but it'll it'll come, you know, as, as she gets older. And uh, uh, so it's a, it's a busy house. Very busy house. And, and uh, you're... Loud at, house. Yeah, well, that's to be, that's to be expected. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you, you always wanted to work with kids. You always wanted to teach kids. Uh, and and uh, you've done that for years. And you've always been creative. Yeah, like I did art in school and I loved that. Um, and I was always pottering about at the house and stuff, but I kind of went away from that. I was I was primary school teacher and I always loved teaching art in school, but I never would have done anything for myself. Um, and it was just really then when, when COVID um, hit and, you know, you're at home, um, we had two girls at that stage during COVID and they were kind of preschool age and young primary school age. So I found I was doing a lot of creative activities with them and also seeing a lot of things online, you know, parents crying out for what will I do with them, e looking for easy ways to do art at home because a lot of parents, you know, are afraid of it. They're afraid of the mess. Yes. They're all also, you know, oh, I, I'm no good at art. So, like, my children automatically maybe won't be good at art, but a lot of kids have a great interest in it. Um, so, yeah, so then it kind of came back, you know, and and I'm no artist. I always say that, you know, like, I'm not an artist. I'm a teacher, really. But as long as I, I can facilitate kids to be artists and to explore different materials and to just have fun doing it as well. So there was an artistic side within you that uh, was screaming to get out and combine that with uh, teaching and 
the Artie Fox was created. Yeah, so I, I had this idea of, um, you know, if you could have everything in one box, you know, that uh, didn't need instructions or anything, because kids know what to do, especially when they get a box filled with materials. Uh, they'll start exploring themselves and making things that you would never dream of. So that was kind of the idea. And then I started just before Christmas in um, 2020 and it just took off. You know, we had a Christmas card box and a um, a box filled with arts and crafts materials and it really took off. And I was uh, just through Facebook, I was selling, you know, nationwide um, for that whole Christmas. I was so busy and I had a six month old baby and that was mad. It sounds mad, and then well, the whole whole world was mad at the time, you know, yeah. in, in the midst of a pandemic. And I suppose a lot of uh, bored kids at home and uh, parents, you know, wondering how you could fill up their time. So it exactly, took off. it was amazing, and you know, it just took off so quickly. And um, I was so excited by it, you know. But it gets tiring as well after a while. And then as as people go back to school, things change. Then you know, parents may be back at work. Um, they're not needing to entertain the kids as much at home anymore. So the business kind of changed a little bit towards workshops more as people got back together, you know. So um, so for the last year, I still sell the craft boxes and everything, um, but I'm doing a lot of workshops as well. All right. Yeah. So is that where your heart lies? And, well, and, it's funny and, that you go back to teaching, you know, you think, oh, I'm out of teaching now. And, you know, that's great. It's lovely change. Yeah. And I love the business side, but uh, but I still love, it's like uh, therapy, you know, you get a group of kids in mm. um, for an hour and a half or an hour on a Saturday and um, you just have great fun, you know, so. And it's, it's challenging as well, uh, you know, seeing how they're going to get on and seeing what, what you can teach them and how creative they can be. Oh, absolutely. You know, I usually just have a few different activities set up and really then they just make it their own. Um, and I have a little group that have been going since January. We meet once a month, and it's nice to have the same children each month, you know, um, and they, because they've kind of got together in their little group now, we're actually going on Saturday to the Glebe Gallery for our last workshop together. Wow. Uh, we're going to go out to the Glebe Gallery and do it more outdoors, which will be lovely. And you've also been working with the different groups like uh, Lenra, uh, Electric Cannon. Yeah, so uh, I've been really lucky that I have Irish. I, I'm not fluent in Irish, but um, it has come on a lot too because I just thought I was being offered jobs um, to do work, art workshops through Irish for families. I just thought, oh, I'm just going to go with it. Mm. And, you know, once you have the confidence to use a few words, um, it actually has worked out great. I, I now nearly get most of my work is through Irish, you know, uh, workshops down in Gidor, Carrigart and with Lena Letcher Cannon as well. Mm. So it's a fantastic opportunity. And and when you mention kids and creativity in the same sentence, there's always an appetite for it. And, and kids are sponges and they, they want to learn. And it's just about facilitating that and doing it in the right way and having being creative, sure, but also having great patience. Yes, absolutely. And I, well, I've always, I've, yeah, I've always been patient. And I also don't mind mess. Okay. My husband will tell you that. Um, so you can clean it up afterwards. You know, it's, it doesn't last forever. Yeah, indeed. So uh, um, if, if people are listening in now and thinking, well, I'd like to find out more about that. I mean, the, uh, the RT box, that's still a thing. And uh, very much the, the workshops. So where can people, are, are you active on social media? Yeah, so I have a Facebook and Instagram um, page. My Instagram is the dot artifox and um, on our website as well, which is the artifox.ie, um, you can get some craft boxes there that might keep the kids entertained over the summer. And there's also a little pack there. Um, it's called the plain sailing pack, which is for going on holidays. So if you're going on holidays and you're worried about the plane journey or maybe the ferry ride, um, it's a little pack with like a whiteboard and some playing cards and colouring pencils and a little holiday journal as well, which is really nice just to keep the kids maybe, you know, if you just have an afternoon on holidays that it's too yeah, hot or something yeah. and you need to just get them to... And um, it also might keep them off the electronics for a while. Exactly. So that, that was also a little bit part of the journey too, was to, um, you know... I don't mind electronics. I have three kids and, you know, sometimes it's great. But 
that it's not the first thing you go to, that mm-hmm. you have something as an alternative for the first activity and mm-hmm. um, that will keep them entertained for a little while and also have families talking to each other, you know. Doing um, things together. Doing things together, playing a game together. I have these conversation cards in the travel packs and they're such a hit, you know, just things like, you know, describe your perfect day, um, things like, you know, name three rules, your parents should go by or something like that that gets conversations happening okay yeah and stimulates the mind and gives uh, parents yeah. i suppose uh, topics and uh, subjects to, to to chat to their kids about. exactly and kids love and it's, it and it's a game it's, exactly. it's, a game. it's a challenge for kids yeah. okay yeah i remember going uh, across the atlantic with with the kids when they were small it, it was like they were three four and six or something and it was it was a nightmare it yeah was, it, it's, it's hard tough. work yeah it is hard work. So I, I like to, I'm trying to find things that will just make things a little bit easier for parents, but also keeping it interesting for kids. And you've also had some doors open to you at a couple of the big hospitals in Dublin. Yeah, so this was a long and really interesting project. Um, I approached the Children's Hospital in Dublin um, to see could I do something do something with them, collaborate with them in some way. So at the minute, we have a pilot project in two of the children's hospitals in Tala and in Connolly, in Blanchardstown. Mm. So uh, when you go into the emergency departments there, there's a a stand with um, some activities for children to do. So the idea is that hopefully, um, you know, as children are waiting for a long time in emergency departments, that there's just something creative there for them to do. Again, that maybe the screen isn't the first thing they do and it might, it's a little story. I actually, uh, Louise Flanagan, who wrote the Dragon Terror books, she wrote the story for me. Great. Uh, I had another lady, local lady who did the illustrations, Tina Tusky, and uh, we put it all together and we've made this lovely little, um, like a little creative activity for children to do. So hopefully that's a two month pilot project in Dublin. And I'm hoping that's almost up. So hopefully it'll be, it'll be continued, you know, yeah. yeah. So Letterkenny Hospital have also, uh, they're hoping as well, which is really needed in their emergency department. They're hoping to have a children's dedicated area. Um, so I've actually just, Drummond National School have just donated uh, some money towards that. So I'm uh, designing an area, a waiting area for the children. Mm. So again, we're hoping to have some activities in there for children too. It's, it's only when you've got uh, kids and you're in a place like that where, you know, you, you've run out of ideas and you're there for a, maybe a long period of time and, and they're bored as kids, uh, you know, inevitably are at that age uh, very quickly. They get bored and that you're, you're looking around, you're scrambling around for ideas and you can't take it for granted that there'll be a, a box of toys in the corner. Sometimes there are, sometimes uh, there aren't. Uh, and have uh, something that's cre- creative and there's you know little challenges within it's it's a perfect fit yeah so hopefully you know we're not saying that we're going to uh, entertain them for 24 hours while they're waiting in it'll emergency department but it'll fill a little gap you know maybe between the snack the looking at the device that you know and it's also hopefully going to be a, a quality experience you know that isn't something very simple that it is a little bit of creativity and that maybe the parent and child could work together on it as well so again you're you're encouraging communication between the the parent and child as well so when the a brand new and shiny children's hospital eventually opens the arty fox might be there well might that's just the, inside the door that's the hope john uh yeah that's that's yeah. where that's where i'm looking towards you know I just feel like, well, there's lots of hospitals in Ireland. You know, I don't need to just concentrate on the Mm -hmm. children's hospital. And there's children in every hospital. Um, So I'm really excited. I was delighted to be asked by Letterkenny because that's my local Mm -hmm. hospital and I've used the emergency department with my own children. Um, And, you know, they are really trying down there as well um, to make things a little bit easier for families. Um, So... Yeah, so the children's hospital is the you know the ultimate goal, crumbling the new hospital. Yeah. But you're not um, over, you're not overlooking all the other hospitals. No, absolutely Any not. Means. There's you know there's children everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, check them out uh, online, the Arty Fox, and uh, uh, the best luck with everything, Fina. Appreciate you coming in. Thank Thanks you. very much.